Alright, this is my easy three-step plan to achieve our goal. The first thing we're going to do is set two drivers for each of the axes. Second part is to be able to assign different parts to its according driver. For example, if I were to move this up, the objects that need to move the z-axis like these would move accordingly. Then the third final step is to just add a finishing touch to it to really sell the idea. So how do you do this? Well, the first step is obviously to add a empty as the driver. I'm just going to add a plane axis and move it right to the side. And then I'm just going to scale it down. Now this will be driving our Z axis, the up and down motion. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that the camera or whatever object you're using is made out of different parts. Then you're going to select one object that you want to move in the Z axis and go into the object constraints properties right over here. And then over here, you're going to want to add a object constraint and add a copy location. With that, you can select the eyedropper tool and select the empty. Now what it's going to do is automatically teleport the object and make it move on all the axes of the empty. We don't want that. We only want the Z axis. So on the object selected, we're going to go into the axis tab and unselect X and Y. You also need to click offset just so that it goes back to its original place. Obviously, it still didn't. You might need to do a few tweaking to move it back just like that. Once it's done, you can see that if we were to move the empty, the object would move accordingly. Now we need to apply this to the other objects. And here's how you do that. You select all the objects first. You're going to select the first object that you added the constraint to. Then you're going to go into the object constraints tab, click on this button and click copy selected. Again, you're going to have to move all these objects down just to where it was before. Make sure offset is selected. Now, one issue you might notice is that the objects on the bottom also move upwards on the Z axis. And we don't want that. To fix that, we're just going to make this in view. And over here, we're going to click invert on the Z axis, just like that. And now, as you can see, the objects move outwards that are on the bottom. Once you've done that, as you can see, they're all kind of uniform and just look goofy in general. So how do you fix that? Well, it's pretty simple. You go into each object and you change the influence ever so slightly. Remember, the lower the influence, the slower moves. And there you have it for today's tutorial. Now, I showed you the Z axis, but for the X or Y axis, it's pretty much the same thing. Just instead of the Z, you click X or Y. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and the notification button, and I'll see you in the next awesome tutorial.